Now, the governor and state Republicans have clashed over that program called Child Care Counts all of last year. Evers introduced a special session bill that would have bolstered that program's funding, but Republicans countered with a new income tax bill. And Evers meet, vetoed the measure because the tax cuts favored those in the top two Wisconsin tax brackets, and Evers said tax cuts should be geared toward middle-class Wisconsinites. Now, Republicans have some new proposals they think Evers will sign. Republicans have four individual tax cut bills on the table to try and give the governor options. One increases the child care tax credit from $3,000 to $10,000 for one child. Another increases the married couple tax credit from $480 to $870 for joint filers. A third makes retirement income up to $75,000 tax exempt for one filer and up to $150,000 tax exempt for married filers. And the fourth is where Republicans are saying they heard Evers call for middle class relief. It's, it would extend the second lowest tax bracket to give more middle class earners a lower income tax rate. Area Republicans say that final bill would provide relief to 54% of filers and gives them an average 15% income tax cut. He's vetoed three uh, tax uh, policies that we had, bills, uh, but once again, those kind of focused on the, the third and the fourth bracket. This one is, is solely in that second bracket, so many hardworking families. Representative Lauren Oldenburg says he's confident the bills will get wide support and could make it to the governor's desk next month. We'll have more details on those proposals on our digital platforms.